And today we're going to talk a little bit about desoldering tools, or ways of removing solder or components from a board that you might be working on. And uh, today with uh, a lot of surface mount components and things like that, uh, one of the more popular methods to desolder components is using a, a hot air reflow uh, pencil or hot air reflow station. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those, so uh, I won't demonstrate that. But we'll talk about some of the older, more traditional tools that uh, you might have available to you. Uh, one of the uh, more common ones and uh, still very popular and easy to use is something called solder wick. Uh, one of my YouTube subscribers referred to it kind of like a sponge for solder. And that's kind of almost what it is. Solder wick is really no nothing more than a braid made up of fine copper wires and uh, allows you to essentially pull solder off a board by letting the solder flow into this wick, if you will. So we'll, we'll demonstrate that in a little bit. Two other very popular tools um, are these vacuum operated uh, desoldering tools. There's one called uh, a solder vac. As I've also seen these called a uh, solder pullet. And uh, we often just call them a solder sucker. And uh, basically a spring loaded thing. We'll demonstrate this in a moment to uh, uh, basically create a little vacuum to pull you know, solder off the board after you melt it. And that's uh, you know, a very popular uh, you know, kind of plastic one. Here's a little metal aluminum one that uh, also works really well. So I'll demonstrate that. And also uh, I'll show you another neat little tool. One of my new favorite little tools in the shop here is this uh, Heiko Model 808 uh, desoldering tool. And it basically is a powered version of the little solder puller. Uh, it's basically got a soldering iron tip that's hollow with a little reservoir here and a vacuum pump all built in to the handle. So uh, it very, makes it really easy to uh, desolder components. So we'll uh, we'll go take a look at that. But uh, let's first you know, take a look at some of these other uh, parts and components here. So maybe we'll start off by looking a little bit at the uh, solder wick and how you might use that. So I'm just going to lay this down here. And uh, this is an example. Let's just grab a board down here and see if I get that position underneath the camera. And uh, I've got my soldering iron over here. I'll clean it. And uh, you know the way the solder wick works is you just lay it down, lay the wick down on the part or on the solder itself that's on the board, and uh, and heat the wick up. And solder generally will follow the source of the heat, so it'll follow the iron. Okay. So uh, if we lay the solder solder wick down here, I've got a little fillet of solder that's sitting right here, um, that's you know, kind of soldering a shield on the other side of this board. If I lay the solder wick in there. And, and put the iron on it, we'll see solder kind of flowing into the wick. Okay, we'll pull that out of here. I've taken a lot of solder now off of that joint. It's all kind of in the wick here, and I can kind of see it all in there. I'll pull a little more wick out here. You have to be a little bit careful when you do this because the wick is made of copper and it conducts heat. So if you're holding on to the wick with your fingers, you know, it could get a little hot and uh, <laughs> before you even know it. So, but by using the wick, I've been able to completely desolder that tab from that shield that's on there. I don't know if you can see that uh, here in the camera, but uh, I don't know if I can get this thing to focus or not, but that shield now is is completely detached from the board, okay, or at least that tab is detached from the board. So a really effective uh, way of desoldering is solder wick. You should always have a couple of rolls of this laying around in your shop. Another very common way or common method is to use these soldering, these desoldering tools here position the camera up here a little bit better so we can kind of show this. And the way these work is generally you kind of prime them. It's basically just a solder pump, if you will. By squeezing this down, you can see the handle pops up here. Now that thing's kind of a spring-loaded plunger, and uh, when I push the little lever down here, you see it kind of pull back up again. That creates some suction. So that one works you know, like that. This little aluminum work one works the same way. The plunger goes in like this. And then the, the release handles right there. And the way you'd use this, let's kind of we'll pick something down here on the board to go desolder. Get the iron out here again. And uh, what we do is we find a joint we want to go desolder here. And uh, here's a uh, here's a, a couple of leads right here that we might go take a look at. So I get the camera a little bit closer. You can see this. It might work better there. So I've got uh, you know, a lead right here. So what I'll do is I you know, lay the iron down on the lead, okay, and position the, uh, the solder sucker over it, and then pull the plunger. 
and that tends to pull some of the solder off of there. Now, these work okay. They take a little bit of practice, a little bit of finesse. Uh, they tend to clog up sometimes when you're using them. Uh, but, uh, you know, it just takes a little bit of practice to try to get all of that solder out off the board. You have to kind of position the soldering iron and the wick and the, uh, the tool in the right spot. And uh, hard to do this on camera. But eventually, with some practice, you can get that to remove some solder. And uh, they're good tools, but... Uh, you know, they, are, they do take some practice and, uh, and sometimes they work perfectly well. Sometimes you take, you know, you got to work at them a little bit to kind of remove those parts. My favorite new tool here in the shop for taking uh, components off is this, uh, you know, this desoldering tool I mentioned, this little Heiko uh, vacuum desoldering tool. You pull a little trigger here and you hear that uh, desoldering pump going. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, you know, position this tip over the component lead and because it kind of can surround the component lead you can kind of use it to straighten the lead out and the amazing thing is with this is that many times the components that you're desoldering will literally fall out of the board after you desolder them because it does such a good job at removing the solder these other ones just uh, can't get close enough and they leave a little bit of solder that holds your part still in the board so let's just do an example here let's see if I can find a part that we can just go pull off here on this board um, if we take a look over here, uh, we'll just pick a couple. I've got uh, a little fuse down here, a couple of resistors, a little 3 leaded transistor, a couple of other components. Let's just go uh, lay this board down in here and, uh, and desolder some of those leads and see what, uh, what we can do here. So here's one lead for that resistor here. If I kind of position the, uh, the tool over that here, and uh, I can use this to straighten the lead out. Suck that solder right out of that hole. Okay, we'll clean this. And uh, let's go look through the other side of that resistor over here. Lay that in here. I'll straighten that lead out. Suck the solder out of it, and boom, that part just fell right out of that board. So for single-sided boards like this, um, you know, this works really, really well, and it also works surprisingly well for boards that are. You know, multi-layer or plate, uh, plated through holes where some of these other tools are, are really really tough when it comes to uh, plated through holes. So let's go see if we can move that that three leaded component, the transistor that's in there. There's one right one lead of it right here. We'll suck that lead out of the uh, wire, out of, uh, solder out of there. Let's do the center lead. Here. Suck, suck that one out and let's grab the third lead here. And uh, that part is ready to pop out of there. I could just go grab it. Voila, there it is. So, really easy to go repair parts. So, this is one of those tools that not everybody has, but uh, if you're going to do any kind of uh, repair work or salvaging of components and things like that, uh, it's well worth saving up uh, to pick up one of these tools. So, anyway, those are a couple of uh, kind of more old school desoldering tools that uh, you might uh, you know find useful in the shop. And uh, who knows, maybe one day we'll have something here to do with uh, like a hot air pencil or one of the other types of re uh, reflowing techniques. But this is uh, some pretty good tools for uh, some you know, through-hole type work. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you uh, found it enjoyable.